Here we go. Okay, well, starting with a remand is not bad. They put tooth and nail back in. <laughs> Love this card. I don't know if it's very good, but it's cool. Um, yeah, I'm looking at remand or library. Kiki would be cool too. We could take remand and try to wheel Kiki. This is a pretty good pack overall. I could see it wheeling. We got mentor, um, tracker, bow clamp thirst. All good. Yeah, I'm thinking remand. Maybe it's just library though. It's probably just library, huh? I like remand too much. Followed up with this is the initiative thing, right? I honestly don't even know what that does. So I think it's something with dungeons, but I don't know, main. All right, we got. I like bone shards. I like swift spear. They put Iconoclast and Vorinclex in. Nice. We have a Tinker, Mana Leak. I mean, Tinker's pretty strong. But it's not insane. I almost want to take Iconoclast, but I think we can wheel that. I sort of want to take like Mana Leak and try to wheel Iconoclast. But Tinker's probably stronger. Yeah, whatever. I love Mana League too much. Be countering it up. Rexian Tower's new. Oh, they got Gargadon back in? Nice. Nice. Displacer Kitten, I think, is new. Um, Windswept Heath, Brainstorm. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm... Leaning toward the brainstorm. It seems interesting though. Sort of a blink strategy. I know they they swapped like a ton of cards this this time around, so Yeah, let me take the brainstorm. Oh yeah, there must be a blink thing. Soul herder here. Nice. I could take that. But there's a relic here now. Memory Jar, Karn. Pilot wouldn't be bad either if we end up like red blue spells. Feel a Swift Spear and Iconoclast. But I like Relic. It's possible we wield the Soul Herder too. End up in some kind of blink strat, but <clears throat> we don't have any creatures yet. It's not like we're starting out white with creatures. We're all spells so far. So I'm going to take the Relic. Chain Lightning, not bad either though. Yeah, I guess maybe actually Chain Lightning would be... Mm. Yeah, it looks too good. Blood Feather Phoenix, what does this do? Oh, this is new. New, new. Mmm. That's cool. Seems good. And then we have Chain of Vapor. Whoa. That's weird. I'm sure there's some busted stuff you can do with that though. Yeah, I don't really know what to take here. Workshop.
blood artist. Jeez. That means there's like a red black or green black or something sack list. Blood artist is strong. Alright, we got Lion's Eye Diamond here. Days. Demir Signet Swords. Lodestone. So obviously Diamond is good with Storm, if we go that route. But I like Demir Signet, because it kind of goes in both. Just any blue deck, also good in Storm. Stay open. Ancestral Vision. Opposition. Still no creatures. But we could take it. Animate Dead. Could definitely be Reanimator. Fire Bluff, Fire Bluff Canal, Char, hmm. I actually don't love Ancestral Vision that much in Vintage Cube, a lot of ways to interact with it, I might just take the land. Alright, it's nice to see some blue cards here, it means... Might be on the right path. What does this thing do? Oh, it's like a flicker wisp. Cool. Flicker wisp with a bigger butt, but can't exile everything. So if we took that tinker, we could snag blight still here. We did not, so. Let's go Shark Typhoon over Time Warp. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even know if that's correct. Thirst. I think this was like the only other blue card, so <laughs> maybe Tinker did wheel. I'm not going to like snag up Lightsteel just in case, but when we had other good blue stuff. But I could wheel here. Exhum. I think I take Thirst though. Like Thirst. Reanimator open as usual. There's the Iconoclast. So take that or like Bone Shards. Bone Shards is leaning more towards like Reanimator ish control. But I like Iconoclast. Try it out. Now we get Edric, Gargadon, Metalworker. I mean, Edric plus third path is kind of interesting. It's on opposition too, but we might not will that. I don't think we're playing Gargadon in this. Memory Jar. artist uh. all right fine yeah and my picks pretty slow there <laughs> trying to see what what newness we got oh this is new Rona oh okay A blue black creature with trample. Exiles a card at random. Whoa. That's crazy. There's also a fallen shinobi though. And I know that card's crazy. Miscalc, Venser. Both good. Tropical Island. I don't want to try this Rona. Nice little looter for two. Yeah, maybe try to wheel a miscalc, hopefully. Sure. 
Try it out. All right, we got Thassa's Oracle, Demonic Tutor, Charter Course, Trium, <clears throat> Signet. They put Solemn back in. That's nice. With the old art. <laughs> What is this deck even trying to do? I think I like Signet over Tutor. Volcanic Island. I think I take that. I like Image, I like Borrower. But I take the land. <laughs> they put Zurin Orb back in. Weird. There's a Splinter Twin. We passed Kiki Jiki. I don't think we passed Deceiver or Pestermite, though. Definitely would have noticed that. Um, so we could take that. Maybe try to wheel Consider. But Consider would also be very good in this in this deck so far. I mean, with Third Path. Kind of the direction we're going. Thinks is fine. I'm going to hedge, take the twin. Hopefully we'll consider our Sphinx. Put Tayshar in. Okay, sure. Seems like there's kind of a legendary themed deck you could build with Rona. Although I guess untapping it isn't that crazy. You just get to loot again. Fine. Got a sword, scarab guide, to rest, seal. Hmm. Do you have a desperate ritual, pyretic ritual? Probably wheel that though. Um, I'm gonna take the sword over the scarab guide. <laughs> oh, brain geyser. Nice. Very nice. Mind slaver. Oh, this is new too. Nice, nice, nice. Goblin welder. Doesn't really do much. You try to wheel the welder, take mind slaver. Not the worst idea. That or Brain Geyser. Hmm. Time Spiral. Uh. Eee. What is this thing? Pattern of Rebirth. Oldie. Oh, it's cool. <clears throat> Thought Picker Witch. Hmm. It's kind of a late Inquisition. We probably should have been black. But the blue's flowing too. Do I even want Time Spiral? The answer is usually yes. I also like Spell Pierce. Yeah, I'm going to... Go against my better judgment and take Spell Pierce. We're all right after we pass. Time Spiral, of course. Right up the stage, Dark Ritual. Guess we're all. I mean, I don't know. Light up the stage is fine. Yeah, whatever. Wheel Vencer. <clears throat> we do not wheel we do not wheel Miss Calc. Unfortunately. Got a fallen shinobi. Man, I think I've made a few bad picks here, but 
Dex looks okay. As soon as I clicked Spell Pierce, I regretted not taking Time Spiral. Spencer's fine, though. Oracle, maybe, if we get a Brain Freeze. Image, sure. All right, we will to consider. That's pretty good. Somebody took the Sphinx. All right, so we're looking for like Pestermite uh, or Splinter Twin, or sorry, Pestermite or Deceiver Exarch. Greater Hoof. Ruin somebody's day. Thought Picker Witch, more like Last Picker Witch. Looking for like young pyromancer burn spells that we passed. Like chain lightning. There's the pyromancer. There's also expressive iteration. I think I might take upheaval paradoxical outcome. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a Teferi here, too. We wouldn't have too much trouble splashing. But I think it's either Pyromancer or Iteration. I think I have to make sure I get this Pyromancer. And just hope and pray that we get Iteration on the wheel. It's also two colors. It's slightly more likely to wheel, I think. Whoever's playing just like Mono Red or whatever would snap up Pyromancer. I mean, it's the only red card they would play, so... If there were more red cards, I might try to take Iteration and wheel this, but... Snap up the PZ. Runabout. I think this was out for a little bit too. A skydiver. It's kind of O ring thing. Nice. O ring with ward. Cool. We could take Xander's Lounge too if we want that for fixing. We have a lot of playables already. Fire Blast, Monolith. Monolith isn't doing a ton. I guess it's decent with like Brain Geyser, Typhoon. Some artifacts. I like Skydiver though. There's Imperial Recruiter if we take, or if we get um, Deceiver or Pestermite. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I take that. Finds uh, Iconoclast and Pyromancer too. All right, there's the Deceiver. Rewarded. Granic Search too. About it. Flyglass is fine. Yeah, easy Deceiver though. We got Recruiter Deceiver, but there's one Splinter Twin thing because we already lost out on Kiki. I'm glad I got that Deceiver too, because the I don't think Kiki Jiki wheeled, if I remember right, so somebody picked it up, and then I'm assuming they would be looking for another piece, but maybe they just kind of took it on a hedge and then didn't go that route. Or maybe they're around the table a little bit. Ooh, Snapcaster. Ah, uh, Dream Halls. I heard that they put this one in. This is interesting with uh, uh, Brain Geyser. Some of our counterspell action. That's yeah, a tempting one. But we have a Snapcaster here, which I know is going to be really good. So I think I'm going to take that over it. It's tough to pass, though. I, I do want to try this out. Yep, 
Yeah. I want to try this out, but I think I'm going to take Snapcaster. It's just too good to pass. Preordain, perfect. Love Spellseeker, love Scalding Tarn. Oh, this is new. Oh yeah, there's a big time legendary thing going on. Pretty good. Yeah, I think I take Preordain over Scalding Tarn. Do have quite a few playables though. Yeah, Preordain is just too good. Do you love me a Tarn though? Jessica's Will. Fine for a storm. Take a trium, I guess. Ballista. Wow, late confluence. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Late sneak attack, too, but we don't really have anything to do with it. Looter's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to take a wear tear for the ward. Alright, there was something in here we kind of wanted to wheel, I think. I think it was... Is this the uh, iteration pack? Or was that the next one? I think it was, that was pick one, right? So this is... Some cards, yeah, this is iteration, I think. Take the Pyromancer. Yeah, here's the Pass in Flames. Yeah, I'll take Teferi. I don't think I'm going to play it, but... We got the Rogrin Triome now. We have a Azorius Signet. Something. Turnabout, I don't think we need. Storm is definitely open though. Uh, late Mana Flare, late Time Spiral, Turnabout, Lion's Eye. Take Monolith, maybe. Triome. Technically fixes for Teferi if we want it. But I don't think I'm going to try to squeeze that in. Looks like the deck here. 116. Wow, we wield the Dream Halls. Oh. Okay. I mean, I honestly don't even know when this card is good or bad. Like what deck you want it in. <laughs> Except... I know you don't want it in like a super aggro deck, but yeah, on well, it, it could definitely play Teferi now. Yeah, I don't know. Like it seems good with counter spells, but. Besides like Brain Geyser, we don't have a ton of card advantage. We're more like sort of tempo spells. Counter your stuff, make tokens. Find a Splinter Twin. But like, you know, Dream Halls, Mystic Confluence, and a cantrip in hand or something. Seems solid. I don't know. If we play Dream Halls, we'll be playing Brain Geyser. And at that point, I'm not really sure if it's worth it. I don't know. Seems like maybe not the deck for it. Cool card, though. I'll have to, I'll have to watch... Uh, I think LSV was streaming today or something. I'll have to check the VOD or... See if he posts a video about it. If he mentions anything about Dream Halls, he picks it up. But yeah, this is the this is the new combo they put in though. Dream Halls Brain Geyser. Pump a bunch of mana into this. After you play a Dream Halls, fill your hand with a bunch of shit. Just play stuff for free. But yeah. I would assume that it 
takes the shape of like sort of a sneak attack type card, but sneak attack obviously gives the thing haste. I don't know, but it seems more versatile, obviously. You can play it and play counter spells and stuff. Everything becomes a force of will. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to cut it. Could be crazy, though. Could be crazy. Now the question is, do we want to get to Fairy in here? You'd pick up Rogren Triome, Azorius Signet, and uh, Alanade. Yeah, I think this is good. Maybe I'll side in the Dream Hall's Brain Geyser if we're not playing against like aggro. Oh, and we have Coalition Relic for the splash. Yeah, maybe I'll try to play Teferi. Could bring in Savai Triumph too. Black White, or sorry, Red White. It is Black White, but we don't care about the black. Wear Tear. Yeah, play the Brain Geyser, I guess. Run 16. I don't think we need a Plains. Sure, pretty mid. All right, here we go. I mean, that's a hand. You need to find two mountains. My main goal is to not skip through combat because I've been playing nothing but arena. I haven't played Moto in forever. Opponent's cheating out the gate with a Mox Ruby. The Kura Tri Builder. Island, go. we draw a land, I might not play the Signet. Because then that means we can go Signet and hold up Remand the turn after. Alright, we draw a Volcanic. Cool. Up against a blue-green list. Possibly more. Okay. Several colors. Mm, yeah, that's getting remanded, I think. So we could just YOLO. Hope we draw a red source and deceiver at the end of our turn or at the end of their turn. But uh I think I want to 
Go Pyromancer, consider. Their best play was Timeless Lotus. I don't think we should be too worried. Spell Pierce would be hilarious. Is it resolving? No. Oh. Mana Leak, huh? Well, that's probably not very good. Although we can't cast Confluence. But like, they're going to have 12 mana. Unless they're casting... Fucking blight steel. Alright, there's a red source. Should have just yellowed. Uh, should probably play colonnade just in case of um like sundering titan. I don't know. I don't know what they got, but I'm a little bit scared. Could also go island, or I don't know. Could play the mountain. Island signet hold up deceiver. I don't know if the mountain's safer on the board or in my hand. Oh god. Oh god. Is this an upheaval? No, not an upheaval. Walking Ballista? Oh, Hydroid Crisis, that's fine. You can have that. Well, as long as you don't have a force of will, you can have that. I got scared at first, but Gracious is totally fine. I mean, if we didn't have if we didn't have a Splinter Twin Deceiver there, it's obviously a very good card for them. But we had an instant win. Okay, they are at least four colors, right? Three colors. Um. Fairly rampy. We bring in wear tear for the lotus. Like spell pierce. The press on the draw is probably fine. I don't know, it's it's sketchy because like if they have ramp it's a little bad. But they showed us like timeless lotus and you know signets if they're tapping out for signets. On turn two it's it's pretty good. I don't know. Maybe we cut the guys around the draw. Not sure why they're playing black. Dan seems fine. It's 
fair as it gets, but fine. Hit the space bar. Still think I'm on arena. Confluence, not bad. I think I lead with Signet. I don't actually know. Probably Signet. I don't see myself casting an instant or sorcery quite yet. Now we can go other Signet and Pyromancer in the same turn. We got Teferi next turn, we have Confluence we can hold up. If they don't play anything big, I'll probably hold just hold up Confluence. <clears throat> but if they play something nasty, I can maybe Teferi and tuck it. Let Teferi send it to Nantucket. <clears throat> A good sign. Sure. Hmm. We can't play Relic and hold up Confluence, unfortunately. So it's either hold up Confluence or play Teferi. They have a Counterspell, it's a little rough, but I think I'm going to go for Teferi. Pretty good. Okay, so they didn't have a counter. It's nice. Library, sure. You may have that. Oh, right, it has to be a basic land. Well, this is going to get confluenced. The crisis. Yeah. Sorry, buddy.
I still get to draw the cards, but I don't want a 6-6. Six, six. That is a Deceiver Exarch. That's a weird tear. Sure. Get the library and like, I guess it doesn't really matter which signet. Probably Golgari, maybe? Yeah, they're pretty evenly split. Bunch of lands, huh? Could have gotten a hit in with the colonnade, but just hang back. Nice. Teferi wins the day. I'm kind of surprised they didn't have anything after they drew all those cards. Multi poop, not enough. All right, picked up the first win. Uh, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of resistance. Offense to our opponent, but we pretty much just saw ramp and hydroid crisis. That was just about it. So, but you know, the deck got it done. So, no complaints. Um. Maybe we should be playing this Grim Monolith. Double cantrip on the draw. Sure. I guess we lead with the preordain. Try to find a red source. There we go. Hmm. Actually, don't think I want colonnade. We have relic for a white source. Hmm. Maybe that's greedy though. Whatever. I'm greedy. Call me greedy.
Could it be Sultai Poop again? Wow. Alright. Lord of the Poop. Dark Confidant. Cheating. A cheater card, huh? Very well. Man, imagine if I had a soul ring. Ooh. Land? Ooh. Ooh again. Mm -hmm. I could go consider and try to find another land. I could just play the peasy. Well, they are flush with removal, apparently. I don't have a black source up. Can't duress us this turn. That's a huge deal. Uh, they don't have double black. Nice duels, though. Underground Sea, Trap, Bayou. Okay. Wait, did they play a land? Or did they miss a land drop before? Hmm. Oh, they did play an island. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. They took the duress, so they're going to duress me. They only have one black source, so I can actually just remand it. Not bad. Okay. Getting some good hits with the 
confidant. Seems like they have the deck for it, though. Lots of cheap uh, interaction card draw. Shelly. Yeah, they played the second black source, which we gave them. I, sh I should have remembered. We gave them that. Um, let's see. I think that is fine. <clears throat> that is okay. Um, man, that I guess I could have considered first. Hulk is not bad. They have Tinker. I wasted my remand. Thirst is. Dark Typhoon. Hmm. Sure. Not too far away from casting that. They ditched their forest. The Relic hold up leak. Quite a bit of mana though. The relic play image on Confidant. Hmm. We might trade here now. Make them tap out here so we can play our Typhoon.
possible a 4-4 shark is just better, but <laughs> I have a feeling they have more removal. They can uh they can always just jump a couple times. Be a pretty slow clock. Them having seven cards does not bode well for me though. Oh, okay. Sure. We can't play Teferi now. So hopefully we don't draw that. Canal, sure. Um We can't kick the image. We can copy the Archmage, though. Also, I have no idea if we get to persist with um, the uh, image or not. But we're going to find out. We do. Very well. Um... I guess we copy them all. Wait, do we just get infinite Archmages if we keep copying the Archmage? Does that mean the, the minus one minus one is not on there now? Assuming it might get added though. Um, let's copy you. Yeah, so we do we still get the minus. And then let's destroy... Destroy the skydiver. Now that we can block the Shriek Maw, keep us from dying too quickly. Wearing a lot of lands. Uh, I think I should have killed the Archmage. I was just worried about dying too quickly. But like now our 1-1 one, one Shark Typhoon token off this Spell Pierce can't really block super well. Better with Strix, which is worth something, but...
Take my one one. They don't even lose the two life. Lame. But I guess they don't get the uh, adventure, huh? Probably good for me, overall. But now we can't block Shriek Maw. Also can't block that thing. All right, give me something good. There we go. That qualifies. Uh, so we don't get to draw the cards, but we do get to make a 7-7 uh, seven, seven shark piece. Not so decent in the face of Strix, but still decent. I love this. <laughs> Make them draw the cards. All right, give me my seven seven. Nice. Got me. Still have four cards. And they get to loot with Stowaway. Not looking good for the home team. Okay. Yep, taking four. We can't even really attack with the shark token either because we're just dead on the backswing. Or if they don't cast any spells, they get to flip into a two power creature. We're dead to that too. We're dead to pretty much anything. Sure. I accept. And, okay, recruiter's not bad, non, it's non-non-creature. We can go get uh, Deceiver or Vencer. Ooh, Snapcaster, does that do anything? Forgot we had Snapcaster. I guess they they still have a counter with Archmage, so it doesn't really do that much. We need to get like Fencer or Deceiver. So we get Deceiver and hope we draw a twin. I don't really want to bounce their stuff. All 
right, chip in. Deal. Give me my non card back. I don't know if I would have played Sylvan Library if I were them, as opposed to flipping my stowaway. But maybe they thought I would play two things or something. An empty hand going off the top. Don't click through beginning of combat. That's my goal for this turn. Okay. Don't counter me. Tap. So they have to have something here. <clears throat> they discard. Discard an island, okay? What's this? Whoa. Okay, okay. Well, we have Typhoon, they have Library. And they're now down to two. We have one card, we now have a Colonnade, but no way to activate it, unfortunately. Alright, we can cast our Teferi now. It opens up another draw, I guess. So if we get Teferi or like Rogren Triome, I guess that's something. They have a lot more card selection, so see if they can find something to kill me before I can start making sharks. That'll kill me. That will do it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> God damn it. Chomp. We're... Ah. We're so close to being able to venture our own Shark Typhoon. Chump. And then make a 2-2 two -two Shark and win. But uh, we would take 4 from the Zombies, obviously. Shit. So we have to bounce the Grave Titan. God, that's lame. I mean, we it buys us a turn, but like... I don't have any way to win after that. 2-3-4... Yeah, okay, go ahead. Maybe I should just scoop, not even show him the Vencer. I don't think what wait what I can even draw. With Shark Typhoon it's it's hard to it's hard to scoop. Maybe they'll play something dumb pre combat and then they won't be able to replay their Grave Titan. Nope, they're smarter than that. Okay, that's good to know about. GG. Of course, they could say the same thing. <laughs> Playing events are... Alright, so they have mana drain, huh? Pretty good. Hmm... Seems like another decent matchup for wear tear. It's basically the same deck our first opponent was playing. 
put in wear tear, cut. Spell pierce. I saw we showed the mana leak and spell pierce. We cut pierce. Get a lot of creature removal. Maybe we cut like Rona. Could bring in sword too. It doesn't protect against their black removal. Yeah, let's go with this. Ah, no blue source, huh? Keep that. Looks a little better, bottom of the geyser. Wish I had something cheap to play, but... We got our colors. <clears throat> okay, they can't drain me. I guess I shouldn't reveal that I don't have spell pierce. God damn it. That's terrible. I wish we had spell pierce. Man, Teferi would have been so freaking good. At least we have Confluence, I guess. Don't duress me, bro. Seems like it's a duress. They're cracking the heath to play around mana leak. I mean, they could wait, but I think that's what they're doing. Oh, maybe not. Fieldred? Eternal Witness. I don't think I had to happen. Two. Don't pierce me, please. Colonnade's not the worst thing I've ever drawn. Greek Maw. No basics. <laughs> Shit. Maybe we can get rid of the Pierce.
pretty risky tapping out in the face of a potential splinter twin. But I guess we did only show them Deceiver. Not that scary. It is good. What are you going to get? Eternal Witness? Take an Eternal Witness back. Mind Twist, Play Land, Mind Twist Me for two. They go for the PZ. Okay. Very well. Scry. They're running pretty low on their clock, so if we manage to win this game, we won't have a whole lot of time. But they're pretty close to killing me. <laughs> God damn. Not how you win ball games. Alright, so they can get a zombie, hit me for two, put down to 11, 9, 12, uh, 8, 12, 4.
think they know we have a chart, right? I know they don't. I wonder if our best bet is to just like hope they do something with library. I mean, I don't think they will. They have no reason to take that risk. Especially when they're going to three, not four. You know? Like, I could maybe see it if they were at eight, and they're like, eh, I'll go to four. What could they possibly have? Yeah, they get mind twist back. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I technically should have... Uh, Should have charred first before they drained me for two. And they drained me for one, they only get to scry one. But take the little chance that they maybe keep a card of library. At this point, I don't think there's anything we can really draw. Go to one, go to Splinter Twin, oopsie poopsie. Yeah, we don't have any burn or anything. Finish him off with Colonnade. Tear. Very nice. Sound of music, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Get that out of here. GG. Multi poop. Got its revenge. Alright, one one. Ooh. Yay. Fine. Um We've seen Sylvan Library every game. All right, go. I accept. I accept your terms.
not really playing anything. They did keep a card, though. We have Confluence. I think I can play the Colonnade. We get to untap with Teferi. Oh, actually. Hmm. We just play Pyromancer in that case. Untap two lands. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Sometimes I forget how good Teferi is. Okay, I kept another card. Go ahead and do this. Save the cheaper ones for later. As long as the cheaper ones can still counter <laughs> the stuff they play. Could keep the mountain for thirst, but I think we're good. Um... We just attack with Colonnade. Nah, no reason to tap out that much. Yeah, they didn't really do much. I don't know what they're going. They're playing Narset. Like, I don't know if they're playing some kind of storm something. They played Sylvan Library, Narset, Kenrith. Oh, Kenrith isn't really a storm card. I guess it's a mana sink. All three of our matchups have just been like three, four color poop. Just what you know. Play a few colors, put a bunch of shit in there. That's fine. Hmm. We bring in wear tear again. We're good. And looks decent. Hmm. 
Not scared of no wasteland. Maybe you should have just kept mana leak up. Nope. Can't have that. Do we leak it? I think we leak it. Don't pierce me, please. Death of Trial. Maybe I should have remanded that, because once I play my Teferi, I actually don't mind wheeling. Yeah, maybe I should have... Eh, whatever. Rona here. Let's remand that so we can protect our Teferi a little bit more. It doesn't untap the land. Good. Five to flip. I guess we could use the black on Demir Signet or Relic. Almost clicked down. <laughs> mm, Snapcaster seems good. You have to deal with their lands attacking, though. Until your next turn, so it's only one at a time. Hmm. No 
let's get it Snapcaster. Untap two lands, have three, four, five. I don't really want to jump with Recruiter because I want to image it. I'm hoping they play something pre-combat here. Oh, they're rethinking. Island. Okay, it does give it haste. No matter which land they pick, Omnath. Okay, I think I have to remand that. Could have just uh, answered. To get one of their lands. And our image doesn't. I'll also just let it hit the fairy. And there's deceiver. Done enough, done enough of nothing. Pass the turn. Good 
could play Rona too. But I want to leave Seaver Venser up. Very well, you got it. But we made him play their land and tap out, so we'll do. Well, it doesn't cost black. Maybe you're playing something else, though. We have a lot of looks at Splinter Twin here. Tap that bad boy. Brain Geyser is not bad. We can just like geyser for three. Two. Guys are for four. <clears throat> Guys are for four. I couldn't find it. And we can't cast Confluence. Boo. Wait, no, we untap with the fairy. Never mind. Could kill Omnath. What does the emblem do? Not good. Untap to six mana. Yeah, let's play preordain. There it is. So we have Confluence up, Ren's down, <clears throat> but they have a bunch of mana of any color, Omnath, and a fetch, okay, that's nice. So a bunch of mana here, hopefully we can counter whatever they play. I don't actually care about that.
that kill my Teferi? Yes, it does. Fair enough. Siege. Oh, little 2 1. Lost to Sultai Poop. Beat Sultai Poop. Beat 5 color Omnath. Shenanigans. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, it's midnight. I got my warm up. My warm up draft in. I'm gonna hit it hard tomorrow. Get some sleep, so. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Yeah, more uh, more vintage cube to come.